Hello, welcome back. This is Shurful. So in this lecture, we'll see the full join. In our previous lecture, we have seen the right join and also other lecture we have seen the inner join, left join. So now it's a full join. Full join is like a combination of your uh, left join and right join. So how it works? It creates the result set by combining result of both left join and right join. The result set will contain all the rows from the both tables. The rows for which there is no matching, the result set will contain null values. So this is the, the last line is very important. The rows for which there is no matching, the result set will contain null values. So in our, uh, since this is the continuation of the uh, SQL uh, tutorial, so in our previous uh, lecture we have we have seen that uh, you know we created two tables we have created two tables uh, for doing all of our uh, join example for all of the join uh, classes uh, so the two tables one is uh, student another one is student course student and student course so we have uh, in uh, there is a lots of uh, column in a student like role Roll number, name, address, phone, age, and also student course. We have only two column. One is course ID, another one is roll number. And between these two table, we have a matching column. It's called roll number. And you can see one to five rows in roll number column are matching in 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 between two this uh, table. So here is roll number. You can see one to five, and then is nine, ten, eleven, and here is six, seven, eight. So this is the part this three last three rows is not matching and um, between the, our common columns so when you do the f uh, you know the full join it will retrieve all the records all the records from the both tables it means whatever the column we're going to select from the left side from the left table like name is it assume that name or address it will show all the records up to five and then the the missing one the six seven eight will not show will show as a null and then here for here it will show for this right table it will show all the records from the right table like uh, one two three four five six like up to five and then the rest of the nine ten eleven which is not matching will show as a null like four five four five four will show as a null let's see let let me do here you can see so it means here is a you know the 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 graph that's a way it, it works like uh, the full join you know it will retrieve all the records from between the two table and here is a one of the examples so let's we copy this so we're retrieving data name column from a student table and then course ID from uh, student course uh, table so from this is the table one the student full join this uh, this is the second table and this is the common the roll number is the common column between these two table right let's run it here we go you can see okay let's go back to our table we can see here with them we can match now output here you can see it shows eight okay okay for the for the left left joint for the left table it shows all the names it's fine all the names all the names like right and for the course it shows up to five here like you can see one two two three one one two two three one because the matching column the roll number between these two table have a matching rows it's like one to five so one to five so here it didn't uh, the so, so rest of them after the five after the five row it didn't match so that's why for the for the data over here so it's first is retrieving all the data from the left side right from the left you can see all the record systems all the names but it shows the record from the right side 
based on the matching values matching rows we have between the common column so in a common column we have a um, matching rows is like five rows so that's why it's here it shows the right right one it shows up to the five record the course ID and then for the 9 10 11 in this uh, right table for this uh, you know the four five four five four instead of this four it shows sorry it shows oh okay it shows null here you can see okay so because of the fourth uh, the 9 10 11 it didn't match with the with the roll number of the uh, table a right it has a six seven eight so that's why it, it's a it's a three null so now it shows also it definitely will show the the uh, the rest of the values because it will retrieve all the data so it's the retrieve all the data four five four four five four so corresponding this there is no matching record over here that's why there is a null also from the left side so it means it's retrieving all the data from the both tables you know based on what column we're selecting but it shows the null values null record it shows the null record from the right table uh, also from the left table based on which one uh, you know the record or rows doesn't match be, uh, for the common or matching column so here it shows the matching column have a uh, the record is matching one to five row one to five row that's why the course is first shows one to five record and then the the last three is null last three is null but for the left table also there will be three null because it's a six seven eight there is no matching record for six seven eight uh, from the uh, left uh, table right that's why in the left table it's there is a three null also null and null okay I hope you understand that so pretty much that's all about that in a full join and uh, now we're going to do a couple of problems regarding you know using the uh, our uh, join and then using our some uh, the having clause or our order by clause all those things right let's see here it's a uh, we're going to use okay we're going to use group by keyword group by clause with a join with one join so as an example we have a table okay we have a table it's called order table and it has uh, it has a uh, some columns like order ID customer ID employee ID order date sh shipper date and then it has also shipper table it has a two table a uh, two column shipper ID and shipper name then we're going to f resolve some of the issues you know what let's do this two problem solve this two problem there is another problem in our next tutorial okay thank you so much i will see you on the next tutorial